pages are already done and we can go to the cover and for the cover we need two pieces of chipboard that measures nine and a half by nine and a half two and we need a spine piece that measures three inch by nine and a half so we have to wrap this in some paper and i think i need two 12 by 12 pieces let me see if this is enough so we have to glue them together then i have my spine and i have left and right and this is enough so <clears throat> Then I will put some double-sided tape on my 12 by 12 paper. So then I need something with a straight So this is perfect and then I will wrap some double sided tape around my chipboard pieces. I will start in the middle. First, I want to see that I really have enough space left and right. a mark where I have to start with my spine. So, okay.
So the next step is I will um, cover up here my inside and for this I put also some double sided tape here on my spine left and right that the uh, black paper will hold really good especially here on that fold lines so then I have no liftings sometimes I forget this and then I get some liftings when I fold my cover and this is therefore that you don't have these liftings. So this is our cover. Looks really good, no crackings, nice straight edges. So this is front <coughs> and this is the back. I always use the better edge on the front. So this is this so far. The next step I want to do is this one, this part. Um, I will do this A little different as I did this on here. I have more experience now <coughs> so I can do this maybe in a better way. Um, for these curved spine I have here two pieces of um, cardstock one measures nine and a half by five and a half and the other one is a uh, three and a half by nine and a half and what i want to do is i will score 
I will score on the bigger piece. So I will score here at one inch and at four and a half. This will be later on the um, hinges to glue these on our cover. And between these two score lines, I score every quarter inch a fold line. I hope this is a good way to get a nice curve. So now we have here the one inch and the one inch and here between these every quarter inch a fold line. Um, this piece this three and a half and these nine and a half I will score this fully each quarter inch. So, <clears throat> and this piece for more stability, I will glue here on the back side and I try to match up my fold lines. Let me see if I can do this. So I put here some glue. And I try to match this with my fold lines between these one inch left and right um, hinges. So I think this looks good. So I will burnish this down. Make sure that you are nicely between these two hinges. Yeah, this, I think this is nice. Yeah, okay. The next step will be <clears throat> that we make here on the outside these spider web. Where is my book? These spider webs. And for this, I need, no, come on, stand up. It's too heavy, <laughs> does not work. So I will um, heat up my hot glue gun. <clears throat> and then we will start. I will start again here on the um, right upper side
step will be to cover this up with some tissue paper. Then we will start to cover this up with some Mod Podge and some tissue paper. Now we will let this dry and then I have to wrap here the um, top and bottom around so that I get a nice edge here. This will be covered up. This is not so necessary, but first we will let this dry.
so this is my spine um, I put here over my um, hot glue these tissue and I um, paint this with some black gesso and then I put here these uh, Inca golds on the top for these shimmery shiny um, background so and before I can glue this here on my spine I had to do on the inside the binding the binding system because um, I always put some weight on my binding here I have some uh, double-sided tape on the corners um, like I said I put always here some uh, weight on my binding um, until my glue is totally dry so we will do first here the binding and then we can go and glue on here these spine piece on the outside for the binding <coughs> So for the binding, I need two pieces of cardstock. One measures nine inch by eight and a quarter, and the other one is nine inch by six and three quarters. Nine inch, six and three quarters. And we have here to score. On the eight and a quarter side we will score at two inch this will be um, the part where we will glue on our pages then at two and a half at three this is the two half inch pieces that lays my pages inside of the book really flat so then we need um, the distance between um, page number um, main page number four and main page number one and this is um, Two and a half, just a second, one, two, two and a half inch. So I will skip this because my five and a half is here, not on the good side. <coughs> so, like I said, at two, two and a half, three, five and a half, six, and Six and a half. This left over because I used an A4 size, and the German A4 size is um, eight and the quarter in the width. So this is not um, two inch, but this is okay. We don't need the full two inch to glue on our pages. This will hold perfectly. So the smaller one, we will score. This is totally off, and I have to do this again no I can use this I here you see it's totally off <sighs> nope. I will cut this again We need a nine inch. <clears throat> and a six and three quarters. So, okay. 
on the six and three quarters we will score again at two inch two and a half and at three inch so then I will turn this and again at two inch two and a half and three and I'm have here in the middle these three quarter inch space. So if you don't want to turn this, score at two, two and a half, three, three and uh, three quarters, four and a quarter, four and three quarters. So this will be our binding. <coughs> And here on the back side, in this middle part, I will put some double-sided tape. And here on the back side the same we will put here between the middle part some double sided tape We have here these three and a quarter piece and this one has to sit here in the middle. So I will mark here um, my three and a quarter in the middle where I have to glue down my um, middle part of the binding. So we have here between the pages seven of an eighth space. So I make here some marks at seven of an eighth um, from my fold line to the inside. And there I have to glue down my spine. <coughs> And I will put a strong glue on my double-sided tape just for the safety. And then I will place this 
on my mark <clears throat> so And this goes on here. Now we have to see that we have here also left and right, top and bottom, the same amount on space. So top and bottom should be the same quarter inch, quarter inch. So left and right. should be also a quarter inch, quarter inch, quarter inch, yep. So then I will make a mark. There I had to glue down here my spine. I will secure later on my binding with some brads on my um, on my cover. The brads will be not uh, seen because we have this um, piece over our spine. This is for more security because the pages are really heavy. And I did this not on my first one. So I am always a little bit afraid that my binding will be or get damaged. So. I think this will be for the safety. So, top quarter inch, left and right quarter inch and bottom also. And we can press this down. I moved. I moved. So be careful. So, yep, this is good.
And now I will put here some weight on and we leave this to dry. And then we can cover here all our um, hinge pieces and here the um, spaces between our pages. Then we can put, I think, three brads on these parts here. And then we can go and glue in our pages and then we can go to the outside.
my binding is um, dry and sits really good on my spine. Um, and now I will put here some breads inside. And I have to measure the middle. This is a nine and a half, five, four and a half. Then this is at four and three quarters. Yep. And between these two, I will do a four inch. some holes the same So now I think this will move nowhere. <clears throat> um, 
normally i don't have to cover up here this one because this will be covered up but i will glue here a piece of black cardstock over it to secure here my little legs from the um from the brads So I will glue this here on top and I do this with double sided tape. So this is really secured. Can I use my big double sided tape? Yes. So now it is secured. So <clears throat> then we can start to glue in our pages. I will put here in the middle of my two inch um, glue hinges some double sided tape. So, <coughs> why did I glue my pages in first and not go to the outside of my cover? It's because now my book lays flat and it's easier for me to glue in my pages when everything is flat. And I am starting at, uh, with the last page. So...
and this is this one and I have on all of my pages uh, some double-sided tape around but what I will do that I don't mess this up I will remove my inserts my tags so I can um, Put this here nicely on my binding and can press really good. So I remove first not all of my double sided tape, only the inside and this one. Here I can put some glue on. So stay away from your fold line at least one or two millimeters. You can see if you are straight here if this is the same space, then you are straight. If you glued your um, binding also straight. So then I can press this here nicely. <clears throat> so before I remove this, I will check the next page. So make sure that you are not upside down and again stay away one or two millimeters from your fold line. Line this up with page number eight and then you can burnish this down. So this is page number eight and page number seven. So the next two pages, page number six.
all the pages are in so far. We have to do the back side cover inside and the front cover inside. This has to be yeah, one of the latest steps because I will put here these um, battery thing inside. But we can do the inside cover page or we will glue down my yeah. I think I will first do here this curved part I have to put something here under Okay, this is the front, this is the back. <clears throat> um, we have here, this is now dry and really sturdy. We have here these spine piece. And I have marked here from my, um, From that fold line here to the inside of the cover one inch because we have here these one inch um, hinge so let me fold this a little <clears throat> so that means we have to glue down here, top and bottom, the same space, and we have to glue down our hinge cover. I will start with one of these come on. Putting some glue just for the safety as always. So and then I will start to match this here up and on here and I think I am straight so I will set this down And on here we have to do the same, but I think I have to do this in one step. <laughs> so here also at the one inch marks. Press this down. <clears throat> so this will be covered up with my design paper, and we can 
think about to do some breads here inside. If this is necessary, it looks like this now. some crackings so <clears throat> so far so good on the back side of the cover I will use this spider web so we have here on the spine the spider web and we have here also a web so I will cut this Maybe I should cover this one up. I don't like this. And if I put here some lace on, did I have a smaller one? 
<clears throat> this one is smaller. So I could cover up here these. I think this one is better. binding I think I will do this let me try something I need a scissor Okay, I will do this. I will cover here this piece here, this part, because I don't like how this looks. So <clears throat> let me put here some double sided tape. I like this. <clears throat> so I have this covered up. It looks now a little bit nicer. And then we can go to the front. <laughs> 